what is endpoint security or endpoint hardening? You see, at the end of the day, we are connecting systems together that each have their own operating systems. And so what we want to do is we want to also harden the operating systems of our servers, our databases, and our workstations to ensure that even if an attacker was to be able to breach onto them, they would be limited in what they can achieve and we would be able to detect them and respond to them. And so what we want to do is we want to understand the security features that an operating system offers to us so that we can deploy those security features. So for example, on Windows, if you knew that a lot of spear phishing attacks are being done with malicious uh, Microsoft Office documents that contain macros, you would say we should block macros by default on all of our workstations. That way, we remove the ability from the attacker to actually execute those malicious word macros. That's an example of endpoint hardening. And there are tons of security settings out there that as a security professional, you would either want to come to know or where, you know, where to find the documentation for them. And your job will be to actually figure out how to deploy these security features at scale on all machines or servers in a consistent, systematic manner to be able to defend the network and defend the enterprise. And so, as it turns out in our platform, we've got plenty of cyber defense exercises to teach you this. But if you want to go and look at some right now after this video, I recommend that you go on the Australian Cyber Security Center's website and they have a Windows 10 hardening guide. And it's a very comprehensive PDF document that actually categorizes in order of priority the security hardening settings you can put in on Windows. And so these would be the kind of things that you want to understand why do we want to turn on those settings? What do they prevent and what do they block? What do they defend against? What kind of attacks will be disabled if we actually use these security features? Because if you understand all of this, you'll have also good ideas of how machines get attacked in the first place. So thank you for watching. I hope this clarifies what endpoint security is, and you should definitely learn more about it. If you've liked this video, the next step for you is to register on our online learning platform to learn practical skills that will get you a job in the industry. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.